Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another awesome math video. This one is on um, perfect cubes. So what is a perfect cube? So if you look here, I have a perfect cube. And um, it's actually a Rubik's Cube. So the um, thing of beauty about a Rubik's Cube is that you can actually calculate its volume pretty easily just by counting the, um, the sides. But we're interested in looking at the side length for a second. So if you look at this guy, um, so this is 3 from here to here three little blocks and this is three little blocks this way so this would be that way guys this would be its uh, we'll call it length and this guy will be its width and this is height just like that so if we were going to calculate the volume of this guy we can count all the little blocks that it's made up of or we can take the side lengths because we know the volume of a cube or we should know I guess is length times width times the height. So this guy would be, you know, 3 times 3 times 3, which would be 3 times 3 times 3 is 3 cubed, because you have 3 different things. And that's where the cube comes from. So that's why we call it cube. And that's similar to why we call it squared. So like um, something cubed gives you a volume of a cube with all sides um, the same length. So if you look at this guy, this one has a volume of 27. So 27 is considered to be a perfect cube because it represents the volume of a cube where all the sides are equal. So this is a Rubik's Cube, of course, but there are, of course, there are many other different size cubes. Um, so what if we had, say, a cube with side length 1? So we only took one of these blocks. Well, if we did that, we would have 1 times 1 times 1. So they'd all have a length, width, and a height of 1. And that would give us 1. So that's a perfect cube. So we can do the same thing if we had, we took 4 of these, uh, or I guess it wouldn't be 4, it would be this guy right here. So one, two, and then another two back, another two back. So you can sort of see the shape of it here. So it'd be side length times two, times two, times two, and that would actually make up eight blocks. And we already got three done. Three times three times three, 27. And then if we made a bigger Rubik's Cube with a length of four as its sides, it'd be four times four times four, which would be 64. So these are all perfect cubes. So because they represent the volume of a cube with the same height, width, and length. So that's all a perfect cube is, is a volume of a cube with the same height, width, and length. And so um, one of the cool things about having perfect cubes, so if you take the cube root of a perfect cube, so let's say I took the cube root of my um, volume that I got over here. Well, the cube root, all that represents, and that's all I'm all I'm saying to myself is what number when I multiply it three times gives me 27. Well, of course, three does. Three times three times three. So the cube root of a perfect cube gives me the side length of a cube with the same all the same length, width, and height. So really, the relationship I have is my volume. is equal to the side length. So the side length could be, um, you could take the length, width, and height because they're all the same. It doesn't matter. Cubed. Or you could have my side length is equal to the cube root of the volume. So that really is a relationship between an actual cube and your you know, your cube root or cubing something. So guys, I hope this gives you a decent idea of what a perfect cube is. All it is is the volume of a cube with length, height, and width to be the same. So good luck, guys. Hopefully this helped, and I'll see you guys in class.